love. Love is the power of creation. It is the power of the sun, the power in all things. And it constellates in our human experience. It is the human destiny to become a son. The world needs your warmth. The world needs your light. The world needs your gravity. And the world needs the orientation that you can offer it, just as the sun is a point of orientation for travelers and has been for ages. I sometimes, after a service hour like this or after publishing something, have people write to me or talk, speak to me and, and they say, uh, I really like those words. I, re I really like what you said. Or I didn't really like what you said. Uh, or I thought that was really significant. But, you know, th this over here was not so significant. And it's all interesting. And it's all learning for me. Uh, and yet, behind it all, I have this question. Did you ignite? Did you combust? Did you burn? Did you become illuminated? That's the point of the exercise, is it not? It is for me. I trust it is for all of us. It's not how well we did or didn't do or what we think about the forms around us. In all of our life, did we light up? Did we ignite from within? Are you truly up for that? I think it's so easy for us to go along and have structures in our life and structures in consciousness. And just when we approach the point at which they could really change and transmute so that they could reconfigure to a new level in a new level of consciousness, we walk away from that pressure, from the attractive gravity that is bringing us into the center of our being. It's interesting that the atoms on the sun have to travel into the core of that sun to fuse. The same is true for us. We don't transform and fuse on the periphery of our life, paying attention to the, all the details which are important, but nonetheless not central. Our combustion happens at the core of our being. And when we come to that core, we allow ourselves to feel the gravity of it and respond to that gravity. We're drawn into it like those atoms on the sun. We're drawn into our own power, our own transforming power, our own creativity. We're drawn into a blinding light that is at the core of who we are. We're not getting out of this unchanged as humanity. We are being changed. We're being changed as humanity. And part of the change that's happening is that we're waking up to the reality that we are that tremendous power, that sun that is doing the changing. It doesn't seem that way, initially. It seems like it is something that is happening to us, that we could resist or we could uh, be in favor of, 
or perhaps even be instrumental in letting happen in our lives and in the world. And we can, as human beings, play a part in the whole thing. But the origination of it all is from a place that's higher than who we've thought ourselves to be. And yet we're opening to that higher place. <clears throat> 